Well, welcome back. I'm Mike Festiva. In this video, we're going to be actually building a rooftop ladder rack for this machine. It's a 1990 Suzuki Carry 4x4. Stick around and enjoy the video. So what I did was I took one piece, kind of mocked it up how I wanted, pre-bent it with the clamp block and continued to change my degrees of angle until it actually fit the cab how I liked it. So what I ended up doing is just taking those measurements and transfer them over to my other bars here and got a layout here. So we're gonna go over to the bender next and put these clamp blocks on here and start pending in our angle for our uprights. super nice to make repeatable bends with that thing. So we got our uprights done. We're gonna start working on some feet for these things. Start doing our crossbars for the top. It's so nice to be able to drop a simple tool pack like this for all the mounting plates for this project. Cut them out in one pass on here and uh, you can duplicate it. It's a really nice thing to have in the shop.
finally get a good chance to use some of these nipple dies I've had. They uh, are pretty impressive. Here's a finished, actually two finished ones. Super strong. Here we go.
moment of truth if I screwed up with a thunder knot. <laughs> Let's hope for the best. Hey, hi. So you think it's gonna work? Nice. Salvaging, I found a nice pallet with some oak on it and uh, gonna make a little top rack for my ladder rack here out of wood strips. Cut down the vibration and whistling in the wind up there. So do a little bit of salvaging, which I always like on my channel. Harder on the handle. <laughs> Get doing it. Good job. Can you pull the next one out? There you go. Watch your fingers. There you go. Good job. Good job, buddy. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment down below and stick around for a moment longer. I want to talk a little bit more about the rack and some options I want to add later to it. Well, I'm really happy the way it turned out. I built it out of pretty thin gauge metal because I did not want to add a ton of extra weight to this small vehicle and especially up high. 
So everything's pretty thin, pretty lightweight, but it seems sturdy enough for what it is. Uh, I'm gonna rate it for about 150 pounds up on the top. I'm planning just to haul some ocean style kayaks up here, maybe a few chunks of metal on occasion or a few wood beams, nothing too crazy. But I'm really happy the way it turned out. It's kind of neat over the last five years of accumulating broken tools and fixing them and finally getting better and better tools. I can produce stuff like this on the weekend in my home shop, which is pretty neat. Some of the few little features I added to it were uh, I cut down some of that chain and inside the bottom of the bed here, right where the ladder rack meets the actual bed frame, I put some uh, nice tie down hooks down there. Also put a small fire extinguisher up here just because in case I have an engine fire or someone else has a problem, I can have a little fire extinguisher there. It's kind of a nice thing. I think one of the things I want to do down the road, I've kind of always wanted to get an industrial sewing machine, so I'm going to try to dig around on Craigslist, see if I can find one used or maybe eBay. I've wanted one for years. I've never really dropped the cash on one, but I actually really want to enclose this with a little uh, canvas roof for summertime camping, something I can roll up the sides or put some bars out and have a little awning, just a little solo camping trips on occasion. I don't think I'm going to do any light bars up top because that's just one more wire to run down to the bed if I take this thing on and off. I got plenty of light up front with the extra headlights but it turned out really good oh and the salvage oak i was pretty stoked about that a lot of my previous videos i used to do a lot more salvaging so it's kind of nice to pull those nice boards off of those old pallets and i went for the age-old technique of uh, 1040 motor oil and a propane torch to kind of treat and preserve the wood i like the way that turned out some stainless steel fasteners up through the bottom these uh, 45s add a lot of strength, and I really like trying out those dimple dies. They actually really make a nice touch, add a nice touch stuff. And these 45s, when you originally cut them out, you could flex them easy. But as soon as I put those dimple die imprints in there, they were way more stout. Another nice thing about them is you can put some tie downs up here and kind of lash some things down to that as well. But yeah, everything turned out really nice. I'm feeling more comfortable with that Rogue Fab bender and uh, making all this. The other cool thing is this comes out in eight bolts and it's pretty light. Like I, if I had to, I could lift it out myself, no problem. It's a little awkward because it's kind of long and big, but uh, it's a nice little feature. The reason it's, I built it this way is so I can actually take down the sides if I want to. And the ladder rack is still in here instead of going down the sides of the bed rail. I sure like having this feature so you can grab a seat up here and put a chop saw or tools like that. Once I get some smaller tires on here, these sides will go all the way down as well. These big mud terrain tires hang out a bit, but pretty happy the way it turned out. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing and uh, leave a comment down below and please give it a thumbs up. Until next time, take care. Bye.